Hey everybody, Steve from A Reptile I Am. And Riley from A Reptile I Am. So, sorry guys, I was a little bit slacking last week, but we did go to a reptile show in Kansas City last weekend, and uh, we picked up a few things out there. Uh, Riley did pick up a hat trick of tarantulas, and uh, we wanted to go ahead and show them to you. Uh, so without further ado, uh, Riley, can you go ahead and start us out and uh, tell them what we've got here and who we got it from? Yeah, so right here, what we have is a green bottle blue. And we picked them up from 8-Ball Exotics. Really yep. nice guy, and he let me know most of the information that I needed to know. Yeah, so that's Jacob Olansky. And he's right here. And can you tell him a little bit about the uh, GBB? Yeah. So, as you can see, as the spiderling, it doesn't have that much color, but the green bottle blue actually goes through a drastic change in coloration. And it, as, it, as time slowly goes by, it will turn green and blue. That's and if, awesome. And its coloration, just overall, it, it's amazing to watch. And... Another reason why I really wanted to get this was that it's easy to care for. It doesn't have as much humidity as it's like as some of the other some ones. Of the other I ones. heard that they really are known for being very good aggressive eaters as well. They are. So, but I also heard not super handleable. That's all right. Still super pretty. Um, so. The next one, speaking of not super handleable, um, this one wasn't necessarily on Riley's hit list, but it was definitely on mine. Um, this is an old world tarantula, and we went ahead and picked up an electric blue. Um, now, the main reason that I wanted it, obviously, for most of the reasons that most people want it is, um, when they get older, they have a light tan abdomen with just crazy awesome blue legs. Now, this little guy is, like I said, he's just a spiderling. Um, so the coloration, yeah, here he is. Um, he's fairly basic for right now. Um, that is absolutely going to change. Now, the electric blue is also known for a few things. Um, they're known for kind of aggressive nature, um, and unfortunately, they're also known for having one of the most painful of the tarantula bites. Um, but boy, she do have a pretty mouth. <laughs> so I wanted to get one of these anyways. And I, I'm kind of a believer that, uh, that tarantulas aren't the animal that you want to get if you're looking for something to handle, honestly. To each their own, and you can definitely get them out, but uh, that's... Moving on. Uh, so here is the final hat trick that we picked up here. Uh, and tell them what we got here, Rooster. Right here we have an, Atili an Antilles pink toe, or a Versicolor. And we got this tarantula from the Spider Collector. Yep, yep. And I would, I would actually open this, but he's kind of sticking up at the top. So he's right here. Oh, um, so he tell him a little bit about uh, about why this one was on your top five hit list. This one was at the very top of my list because of the drastic ch color change that it goes through during its life cycle. It's as you can gorgeous. see, as you can see, it's currently blue, but that will change as it gets older, and it'll go being pinks and greens and just amazing. And it always stays out on display, so if you want to pop in and say hello, there's your little pink toe right there. That's awesome. That's and awesome. And, of course, you can see that they have some pretty cool, like, webbing tunnels that they do, too. So, yeah, and it stays pretty heavy. So, right on, guys. Like I said, those were the three that we ended up picking up. Uh, extremely happy and... Uh, You'll show them as they grow or what? Yeah, I will definitely show them as they grow. They will be amazing as they get older. Their coloration will change from what you're seeing here today to what you'll see in the future. Right on. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We'll check you out next time.